Hi, I'm Carrie. Welcome to my Fun Monday videos. And today I am going to show you how to crochet the foundation row around a bib. Um, last week I told you that we'd be doing this, but the foundation row on this cute little burnt cloth is a little bit different. So we're going to start with the basic foundation row, and I'll teach you this foundation row in a couple, in a few weeks. So we're going to be doing this adorable bib and I will zoom you in here so that we can you can see what I'm doing okay so the, I'm usually going to use Aunt Lydia's cotton crochet thread size 10 and first thing you're going to need to do is a slip knot just so to start your slip knot, if you don't know how to do that, you're going to go around in a circle, take that off your finger and this thread underneath there and pull it up like that. One more time. Go around in a circle, go around your finger. This is my long side here. Go around, take that off my finger, it's underneath there. Pull it up like that. The reason it's a slip knot is that you can pull this up and down and change the length. I am going to start in the corner of this one and you're going to want to start on the front of your fabric, the front side, poke your crochet needle in your first thing without the thread on it. Front to back, now you're going to put that loop on it and pull it through um, so that it's even with the top of that material. I didn't show you how to wind the thread on your finger yet. I need with this, I find that with this thin crochet thread I need a little extra tightness so I actually take it around my pinky once first wrap it all the way around my pinky like that and then in and out in and out the important thing is to end up with the crochet thread on top of your index finger now you're gonna hold your material between your middle finger and your thumb right underneath your work that is gonna be where you do all the holding there and manipulating hold your crochet hook like a pencil so now we're ready to start to start this off we need to do one chain stitch if you don't know what a chain stitch is it is simply wrapping notice how I'm holding this like a pencil the needle around my loose thread and pulling it through to form a chain you'll see that again later but now the, we're not going to do any more of those chains on this foundation row. Now each time you're going to do what is called a single crochet. And instead of having uh, the crochet work, we have the blanket here. And that's going to be like the first row of our crochet. You're going to go into the next hole, poke it through. Now you're going to wrap around the string. Pull that through, and, and not all the way through, just through the fabric. So you ha should have two loops on your hook. Now on top of the fabric piece, you're going to wrap around again and take those, wrap around, and pull off those two loops. Um, your crochet, one thing about crochet is your loop, the size of the hook determines the size of your loop. Notice as I slide this back and forth, that's how big my loop should be on top. These are a little bit different because they're on the fabric, so they have to reach that length of the fabric. But on top, I'm going to be making a chain that big. So that helps you to gauge how big. Go into the next hole. Again, poke it from front to back. Around that string and pull that one string through the fabric. We have two loops on top, on top of the edge. Wrap it around your hook and pull those off. We're going to continue to do the same thing. Go into the next hole, behind the fabric, wrap around the string. Notice that little hook, if I keep that bent down a little, it doesn't get caught in the hole as it comes through. Pull your thread up to the top edge of your work to make it the same length. Wrap around and pull those two loops off. I'm going to do that one more time for this video. Go into your next hole, wrap around the thread behind the work, pull
pull it through that hole, trying not to catch any of those little threads. And then you're going to want to pull enough of that up. See how that comes up? I can make that big or smaller. Pull that up till it's the same height as your fabric, the edge of your bib, burp, whatever you're working on. Then reach over. I'm holding this like a pencil again so that I can move the hook around easily without moving my work around. Wrap it around, hook it. My hook is downward so that as I pull up on the hook, it doesn't catch on those threads. I'll do just a couple more and then if you need to see it again, you can watch the video over. In the hole, around, up to the top of the fabric, take another string and go through both of those loops this time. You're starting to see that there's a little chain on the top and we're going to continue around until we're finished. On the next video, when we do the second row, I'll show you what this finished piece looks like. Okay, so one last thing before you go, thanks for tuning in again. I promised that um, each Monday you would get a coupon code. And um, so it's a one use coupon code, first person to order online with this coupon code will get um, $5 off again. And the code this week is hemstitch, all one word, hemstitch. Thanks for tuning in. I'll see you next week.